Hey guys, Mitty here. This video will be the updated and refreshed top classes ranking list that includes the most important categories. Note that the ranking list doesn't include upcoming rewards for Lan, Lancer, Hashashin, Invoker, Windwalker and Archer. These classes rankings will be included in the next top list video. Before we start with the actual rankings, I'll refresh the info about every category and their subcategories if these persist. Overall ranking will be based on three categories. Arena PvP includes normal, ranked and Karkia arenas, divided and calculated by five subcategories. Range, that is the useful range of skills and how often a class can use them. Combo damage, which is calculated relatively a maximum combo damage which is currently Sura with his 23.6000% damage. Catching potential is the ability to catch players in crowd control. Evasion is the ability to either escape damage or crowd control, maintaining longer immunity rotations. And at last Unique, which is the unique passive or ability that a class has to add up to its potential. Second category – Mass PvP Ranking, that includes Ramones, Guild Wars, Sieges, Nodes, Black Sun and Battlefield of the Sun. is also divided by 5 subcategories. Range – similar to Arena, but might differ in some cases. DPS is the damage burst dealt in 5 second combo, calculated just like combo damage in first category. Just the difference between classes, relatively the maximum one which in this case is Berserker with a ridiculous 20,000% damage. Mobility showing how good are these classes in running and catching other players. Survivability is the ability of those classes to either absorb damage, heal up or just have enough mobility to jump back and forward during mass PvP fights. And again unique, just like for Arena, but again might differ due to the effectiveness in different scenarios. Last category is Hadoom kills per minute, which is the ability to kill mobs with fast respawn time. Now that you know what is every category about, let's dive right in and check each category ranking and discuss the top 5 meta classes. Arena PvP top list. Titan surely winning the top spot due to his ridiculous passive that translates the best meaning of beast mode harder, better, faster, stronger, and endless healing that allows Titan to win the fight the more it lasts. In a fair matchup there is only few classes that can stand against a great Titan. Mid second place – Sura. A while ago being in one of the worst PvP classes due to his low evasion stat, but things changed with the big buff on his most important skill, making it stronger, faster and better in all kind of scenarios. Not only that, his combo damage also grew big in numbers, scoring a ridiculous 23.6000% damage in one full combo. Following Destroyer 3rd place, with his ridiculous ability to maintain 100% invincibility state for about 50 seconds in any matchup. But don't rush rerolling to Destroyer, you will need to learn him well before destroying Arena. Fourth being Lotus, great passive allows her to keep up with most of classes, raising well her damage output and survivability. Mix of all type of immunities and great counterplay abilities makes her good against any class if played right. Fifth place goes to Kunoichi, a very powerful 1 vs 1 class, lacks a bit in range but has everything needed to dominate arena pvp. 6th, 7th and 8th places goes to Berserker, Striker and Void Knight, just by few points losing to 5th place, but are still amazing PvP classes that won't disappoint you in Arena if played right. You can check all the classes ranking in the list, and I guess the numbers just talk for themselves. Moving on to Mass PvP, 1st place is given to the king of them all, Berserker as he just has everything needed for mass PvP. Supreme DPS, amazing mobility, great range and even though his survivability might be slightly lower than some other classes, he still manages to be on top of them all. Followed by Titan on second place, amazing beast mode passive grants him huge score boost, great mobility but lacks in range, still remains a support class but wins in the rest. 
Third place given to Destroyer, the Cheater, but not because he can outperform any class, but due to his ability to be invincible and survive even against a whole guild, which might be fixed soon. Mass PvP Queen Phantasma dropping to fourth place. The nerfs aren't helping the score, but she is still able to be a good pick if played right. Unexpected fifth place goes to Striker with his amazing double shoulder thrust that has both power guard and super armor, allowing to almost survive like Destroyer. Besides, Striker is also well balanced in other subcategories. And of course, for the rest classes, the ranking stats are just self-explanatory. In farm speed, maintaining first place, Archer 355 kills per minute. Next shy 343 score. Third place is held by two classes, Destroyer and Corsair, and fifth place still remains Archmage. And before we find out the five meta classes in overall ranking, let's look on the damage ranking tables. DPS ranking is broken by two classes, Berserker for its amazing speed and skill damage and Sura after rework with the ability to deal damage without finishing the skill. Same goes to Stunlock combo damage, Sura totally breaking all the limits with its 23.6000% damage in one combo, followed by Titan with double grab and 19.8000% damage and then Berserker with 17.8000% damage. Done with the individual rankings, let's finally merge all of them in one group and see who is the best class for global server and what 5 classes fit the current meta. And of course, with most points, winning Berserker. A little hard from nerfs, but still OP. Second place goes to Titan, Beast Mode and Spin to Win Baby. Destroyer lands on third place, Legal Cheat Mode activated. Phantasma, remaining the best range class so far, lands on fourth place. And at last, Striker gains a piece of cake in meta, landing on fifth spot. Don't forget that this is the overall ranking that includes every test, so don't get too stressed if your main class didn't land in top 5. In the end, everyone should play the class they like the most. Also, developers are working hard to balance as much as possible all classes, and you can really feel it lately. And that was it for the updated all classes ranking list. Hope it will help you choose the right class for you according to the points for each category. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. That was Smitty, have a nice day!